to my wonderful and amiable listeners welcome welcome to another interesting news the apm party files appeal at the supreme court to nullify the victory of the president of the federal republic of nigeria in person of ashwa jubala on in the 2023 presidential election while dismissing the petition the presidential election petition court described APM's case filed to nullify Ashwaju Bola Metunubu's election as incompetent. The Allied People Movement APM has filed a 10 ground appeal before the Supreme Court challenging the decision of the presidential election petition court, which affirmed the victory of President Ashwaju Bola Metunubu as the duly elected president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The party in a notice a notice of appeal filed by filed through its new council, Chukuma Machuko Ume, asked the APS courts to set aside the judgment of the presidential election petition court for numerous errors in law. It was reported on the 6th of September 2023 that the election petition court struck out the Allied People Movement's petition against President Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tunubu and Vice President Kazim Shetima for lack of merit as the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. While dismissing the petition, the Presidential Election Petition Court PEPC described the Allied People Movement's case filed to nullify Ashwa Dubola Metinobu's election as incompetent. The Chairman of the panel, Justice Arnold Osamani, who read the decision of the court held that issues raised by the Allied People Movement in its petition contained pre-election matters that could only be determined by the Federal High Court. But in its, gra- in its 10 grounds of appeal, the party stated that Section 131 and 1421 of the 1999 Constitution are inextricably link- inextricably linked and neither can be confined as a pre-election matter as these qualifications are conditioned precedent to for being elected into the office of the president. The appellant's petition is primarily challenging the election of former Lagos State Governor Bola Tunumbu on grounds that he contested the presidential election without a lawful running mate. The party added that the withdrawal of Ibrahim Kabri Mazari and the expiry of the 14 days permissible for changing, withdrawing or dead candidates under Section 33 of the Electoral Act 2022 made Sunubu's election and return invalid. According to the party, the PEPC abandoned its duty and jurisdiction of hearing and determined its question on whether President Sunubu and Kazim Shetima were validly elected to the president to the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and Vice President under the Constitution as stipulated by Section 2391 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria 1999 as amended. The APM contend that, that validly elected encompasses being qualified to contest the election, adding that a valid election includes the threshold qualification and disqualification as stipulated in the Constitution. It added that the approach of the court below was to avoid the weighty issues of validly elected through imputing technical technical elevation pre-election issues. The party also prayed for the declaration that the return of Tinubu by the by INEC as the president elect of Nigeria is null, void, and of no legal effect whatsoever. Ashiwa Jubalame Tinubu, who is a Nigerian politician, who is currently serving as the 16th president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He was a senator in Lagos West in, in the Third Republic. Ajiwajibola Ahmed Tunumbu spent his early life in the southwestern Nigeria and later moved to the United States, where he studied accounting at Chicago State University. He returned to the Federal Republic of Nigeria in early 1990s as was employed by Mobi Nigeria as an accountant, before entering politics as a Lagos West candidate in 1992 under the banner of the Social Democratic Party. After the dictator Sonia Bacha dissolved the Senate in 1993, Tinubu became an activist campaigning for the return of democracy as the part of the National Democratic Coalition Movement. Mm-hmm.
in the first post-transition Lagos State gubernatorial election, Tinubu won by a wide margin as a member of the Alliance for Democracy. Four years later, he won re-election to a second term. After leaving office in 2007, he played a key role in the formation of the All Progressive Congress in 2013. In 2009, following the landslide victory of the People's Democratic Party PDP in the April 2007 election, Tinubu became, became involved in a negotiation to bring together the fragmented position, opposition parties in the mega in the mega party capable of challenging the then ruling People's Democratic Party. In March 2009, there were reports that a plot has been identified to assassinate Tinubu. In February 2013, Tinubu was among several politicians who created a mega political opposition party with a major of Nigeria's three biggest opposition parties, the Action Congress of Nigeria ACN, the Progress for the Congress for Progressive Change CPC, the All Nigerian People Party ANPP, a faction of the All Progressive Guard Alliance ABGA, and the New People Democratic Party, a faction of the Den People Democratic Party, into the All Progressive Congress. In 2014, Tunubu supported former military leader. Military Head of State General Muhammadu Buhari, who was the leader of the Congress for Progressive Change, CPC faction of the All Progressive Congress, who commanded widespread following in northern Nigeria and has previously contested in 2003, 2007 and 2011 presidential election as the CPC presidential candidate. Tinubu went on to play an important role in Buhari administration, supporting government and policies holding on to the important party reins in lieu of his long-held remote presidential aspiration. In 2019, he supported Buhari re-election campaign, defeating the People's Democratic Party PDP candidate al Haji Ati In 2020, following an internal party crisis, which led to the removal of Ashiwa Jubolame Tinubu Alai and the party chairman Adamu Shiomole. It is believed that the move was to score to Tinubu's presidential prospects ahead of 2023. On the 10th of July, January 2022, Tinubu made his formal announcement for candidacy for president. On the 8th of June 2022, he won the party convention vote of the ruling APC against Yemi Osibajo, the vice president, and Ruti Miyamichi. On the 1st of March 2023, the Independence National Electoral Commission, INEC, declared Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu as the winner of the 2023 general election. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button and let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below and I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.